Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Devar Halacha. And here's a brand new Halacha for you, and it's for Friday. Erev Pesach, that's the 30th of March. Okay, so there are so many things to tell you. You know, many things are going to start changing just as Pesach arrives. But here's one I haven't discussed at all yet, and that is that we're going to be saying Tfilas Tal on the first day of Pesach. Now, what that means is that at Musaf time, the Chazan is going to recite that special prayer for Tal. The rainy season is officially ended, and we no longer praise God for His power to bring rain. Rather, we praise God for His power to bring the dew. Now, this is going to differ, of course, for whether you're Ashkenaz or Sfard. What Ashkenazim are going to do from now on, starting on the first day of Pesach, at uh, Musaf. I'll get a little more accurate about exactly when in just a moment. But they will stop saying Mashivaruach and they will start saying nothing. <laughs> okay, but if you're Svard, you're going to stop saying Mashivaruach and instead you're going to switch over to Morid Hatal. Also, um, at this point of the year, we switch over from saying Vesein Tal Umatar Livracha, and we switch over to saying Vesein Bracha. You won't uh, be doing that until Chol HaMoed, when you start to say the Shemona Esrays that have Barei Chalenu in them. Then, of course, there's a, a place there to insert Vesein Bracha. For the halacha for all of these is that if you forget to recite them in your Shemona Esrei, then you need to repeat the Shemona Esrei. And if you don't remember what you did, you have to assume that you went by your old habit. And you hear this from me every time we make one of these switches. If you want, you can avoid the confusion by just saying 101 times over, uh, with the, f I'm sorry, <laughs> You'll leave out Mashiv or Rachamari Nagasho and you'll say, Mechayim um, Mesimata Rav Lahoshia, Mechal Kel Chayim Bechesed. That's what you would do if you were Ashkenaz. You say the few words before, the few words after, and you get yourself in the habit of skipping Mashiv or If you're Svard, you would say, Mechayim Mesimata Rav Lahoshia, Morid Hatal. You say that 101 times, and then your habit is officially switched, and if you forget what you did, you can assume that you did the right thing. Now, for Ashkenaz people, just the switchover and the timing of it is a tiny bit complicated because when Musaf comes and you say the silent Shmon Esrei, the Gabai who makes announcements is not going to announce, stop praising God, in other words, stop saying Mashiv Ruach. We don't like to make announcements like that, like stop praising God. Therefore, he'll just be silent. And that means that the switch doesn't happen until after the Chazan repeats the Shmon Esrei and says the Tefillah for Tal. Therefore, if you're Ashkenaz, the first time that you're actually going to say uh, no, no Mashiv Haruach, first time that's going to happen for you will be at Mincha on the first day of Pesach, because no announcement will be made at Musaf. The Chazan, when he repeats the Shemon Esri, after your Musaf Shemon Esri, that's when he's going to kick off the, the non-Mashiv Haruach season, and then everyone will, who's Ashkenaz will start saying it um, right away at Mincha, you'll start saying without Mashi Varuch. If you're Svard, it's a little less complicated because they can announce Morid Hatal. That's a praise of God. We're just switching the praises of God. Therefore, the, the Gabai will probably announce Morid Hatal. And that's the switch over time. And then everybody in the Shulz should start reciting Morid Hatal from Musaf of the first day of Pesach. Hope that makes sense. I hope you have a very good Shabbos and a Chag Kasher V'Sameach. And please log on again after the two days of Yom Tov. And then we'll have fresh laws for you about Chol HaMoed and all that kind of stuff. Thanks for logging on. Log on again after Shabbos and Yom Tov for more. Bye-bye.